Hey there. I would love to share with you my experience running the Oregon coast. I live in Colorado and drove all the way out to Oregon. It was a long journey. Um, that's the high level. These are the places that I stopped at along the way on the coast, mostly. On the way to the coast, I stopped in Bend to see a friend and we did this nice hike. We were intending to go up to Broken Top Mountain, but it was so hot. It was like in the mid nineties at least. And with my dog, um, didn't want her to get overheated. So we turned back and we went swimming in the lake down below. That's Mount Bachelor, the ski area. Um, there were some pretty big fires in the area. So there was a lot of smoke blowing in, but very pretty nonetheless. Love Bend. Bend is, feels similar in culture to Colorado. Um, just lots of outdoorsy folks, people in vans. Felt super welcome in Bend. All right, my next stop after Bend was Yahats. Um, so I was just kind of getting a feel for the neighborhood, walking along the like neighborhood trail with my dog. And um, we were seeing some smoke coming in from over the hills, and then I'm not sure if there was also fog coming in from the ocean, so there was this interesting fog smoke situation, and um, I couldn't really tell which was which. <laughs> but Yahats is a really cool town. I would highly recommend it. So I was staying there, and then that was my jumping off point for Gwyn Trail and Amanda's Trail. So Gwyn. Uh, Gwyn Creek Trail is on Cape Perpetua, it's called. Um, this was a super fun run. Kind of starts off along the Oregon Coast Trail, so just hugging the coast. Um, just beautiful nature you'll see in pretty much every picture. Just very lush, um, super cushy trails to be running on, especially compared to like the hard packed dirt in Colorado and the rocks. Just like having the fluffy, decayed tree matter just felt so luxurious. <laughs> um, this descent was super fun and flowy. We were going pretty fast on the way down. This next one, Amanda's Trail, is kind of in the same neighborhood. Um, around the same, like, mountain area. At this point, I was going pretty slow. I was just enjoying the nature and doing a lot of walking because I was so exhausted from the travel. <laughs> I wish these videos weren't so pixelated, but you can see my dog running in front of me. She's such a good running buddy. That trail did have a lookout, um, but I didn't want to go downhill anymore. I was feeling super lazy and tired, so I just kind of turned around early without going to the overlook. The lookout. So we had just come from Pacific City and Cape Kiwanda, which is a pretty cool place. I would recommend going there and going to the Pelican Brewery. You can see it in the background there. Cape Kiwanda has a haystack rock. It looks kind of like Cannon Beach, but it's not. Um, but it's a little more um, remote and down home compared to Cannon Beach, I'd say. Really enjoyed this trail. Pretty cool to look off the sheer cliff on the other side. There were a lot of other trails in this area that I wish I could have gotten to, but I was kind of just skipping along to the next thing. Cape Falcon. It was feeling more like we were close to civilization once we got here. It was the weekend and there were a lot of tourists. <laughs> Having a bell would have been good because we kept on sneaking up behind people. Um, the beach here, not this beach, but the one that is near the trailhead is a popular beach. Um, for people who surf, locals and people coming in from Portland. And by the time we finished, the parking lots were overflowing. So it's a pretty popular spot, but we had a blast nonetheless.
we really wanted to do a long run on this day and do the Elk Flats Trail as well. Um, but it was closed. Probably, I don't know, a landslide or something like that. Like there was a the there was a bridge that had fallen out. Indian Beach Trail. This one starts off near Cannon Beach, and you do have to pay a little parking fee to get into this state park. Um, but it's totally worth it. Cannon Beach and Seaside are definitely more like touristy spots. Um, they're like the vacation spots for people coming in from the city. There are people out there taking a surfing lesson and that really inspired me to come back and do that someday. Here's the Cannon Beach. Haystack Rock. <laughs> she loves me, I swear. So at this stage, I mean, I'm just feeling like all the terrain is basically the same. It's just like cushy, lots of roots in some areas, beautiful views of the ocean. I mean, I couldn't get enough of it. Um, this is Cannon Beach. Here's that famous Haystack Rock. So much sea foam. I've never seen sea foam like this. Apparently it is a sign of a healthy ecosystem though, so no worries. Got all over my dog and she got a bath shortly after this. <laughs> Kinda gross still, even though it's natural. Apparently pumas climb up on that rock to eat the birds because it's like a, a bird spot. Anyways, we played fetch the entire beach and she's so good. She doesn't care about other people, other dogs, anything. All she wants to do is chase that ball. Yeah, good times. This is a little bonus content. This is Zigzag Farms. Um, this is just like a camp spot that's near Mount Hood, which is off to the left there, way up. You can't see it. Um, Zigzag Mountain Farms. Yeah, they had this old bus that had uh, a kitchen inside it. But really cool place. They had yurts, places where you could set up a tent. I camped there in my van. Uh, they had nice showers and bathroom facilities. So really cool place to post stuff if you're like, if you need a break coming to or from somewhere if you're like on your way to Mount Hood or something. Would highly recommend. I can't wait to go back there. And that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed this video.